their genesis moment. For you, it might have been the Sex Pistols or Madonna or Public Enemy. It's whatever initially inspires you to action. Mine was 1956, Elvis on the Ed Sullivan Show. It was the evening I, I realized a, a white man could make magic, that you did not have to be constrained by your upbringing, by the way you looked, or by the social context that oppressed you. You could call upon your own powers of imagination, and you could create a transformative self. A certain type of transformative self that perhaps at any other moment in American history might have seemed difficult, if not impossible. And I always tell my kids that they, they were lucky to be born in the age of reproducible technology. Otherwise, uh, they'd be traveling in the back of a wagon and I'd be wearing a jester's hat. So, uh, uh, you know, the advent, it's all about timing. It's all about timing. Uh, the advent of television and its dissemination of visual information changed the world in the 50s the way the internet has passed over the past has over the past 20 years. Remember, it wasn't just the way Elvis looked; it was the way he moved that made people crazy, pissed off, driven to screaming ecstasy, and profane revulsion. That was television. When they made an attempt to censor him from the waist down, it was because of what you could see happening in his pants. <laughs> Elvis was the first modern 20th century man, he was a precursor of the sexual revolution, of the civil rights revolution, drawn from the same Memphis as Martin Luther King, creating fundamental outsider art that would be embraced by a mainstream popular culture. Television and Elvis gave us full access to a new language, a new form of communication, a new way of being, a new way of looking, a new way of thinking about sex, about race, about identity, about life, a new way of being an American, a human being, and a new way of hearing music. Once Elvis came across the airwaves, once he was heard and seen in action, you could not put the genie back in the bottle. After that moment, there was yesterday, and there was today, and there was a red-hot rockabilly forging of a new tomorrow before